Hey guys, so this is a new tech show called Tech 15 Weekly. So let's start off with Google. So it's my microphone that fell down. Um, so first off, I have Google Inbox. It's been updated for iPad now. And I have the beta access to Google Inbox if you would like it. I have two more invites that I can give. You just have to subscribe, like, and share this video, and you can enter to win one of those two invitations to Google Inbox. Google Inbox is um, an app that you can look emails through from the Google service, and it has it's more like a social networking app. You can slide stuff. It's um, it looks a lot like a social networking site and I really like it I uh, it, before this uh, Google inbox was only for the iPhone so my iPad mini screen is small so it actually looked good but on big iPad it looked bad and now they finally have it for iPad and it looks great I would make the icons a little bigger but I still like it I also want to mention that you can use this on the computer and it looks great on the computer, seriously. I use it on Chrome all the time. But the thing is, currently you have to first download the app and then you can already use it on Chrome. Chrome? Chrome, Chrome. Chrome. Chrome sounds like a computer thing. That's what I have for Google this week. Now let's talk about some Apple. If you've been reading any tech news lately, you know that there's rumors that's Apple making a car. Uh, these rumors were based that Apple was hiring a lot of car engineers for the past year. And, um... Uh, Big companies have confirmed the rumors. Apple itself has not confirmed the rumor, but according to rumors, um, the project will be headed by the former CEO of Ford. And I'm actually very excited because right now there's uh, the Google car that's, you know, the Google co self driving car thing. And now there's going to be an Apple self driving car. So, you know, for the iOS users, there's the iCar, iDrive, or something like that. And re to response to this, um, former CEO of General Motors said that they have no idea what they're getting into. But I wouldn't really pay attention to these comments as if you're not an executive or a CEO executive of Apple, you can't really tell Apple what they should or should not do. Because for example, let's take Michael Dell. When Apple, when Steve Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, he said that they should shut down uh, the company and give the money to the shareholders. And now Apple's like one of the biggest companies. And uh, another one was in 2007, the CEO of Microsoft said, <laughs> $500 fully subsidized with a plan? I said, that is the most expensive phone in the world, and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good email machine. Now, it may sell very well or not. I, you know, We have our strategy. We've got great Windows mobile devices in the market today. We, you can get uh, a Motorola Q phone now for $99. It's a very capable machine. It'll do music. It'll do... Uh, internet, it'll do email, it'll do instant messaging. So I, I kind of look at that and I say, well, I like our strategy. I like it a lot. Okay. Right now we're selling millions and millions and millions of phones a year. Apple is selling zero phones a year. In six months, they'll have the most expensive phone by far ever in the marketplace. And let's see, you know, what's the expression? Let's see how the competition goes. Oh. It's recording. There was a toy fair this week, and there was very cool toys, the sand, alive sand toys, the Sphero toys. It was um, very awesome. Ironically, people under the age of 18 were not allowed at toy fair, which is like, toy fair! And, and look at this logo. This is, like, if this was for, like, grown-ups, then, like, they could have made the logo not... Kiddish, ish, kiddish, kiddish, yiddish. Also, the FAA released new drone rules on Sunday, which pretty much grounds Amazon's drone delivery, Netflix's, and Domino's Pizza, because you have to see the drone from the pilot's like actual site. You have to have a certificate to fly the drone. 
you actually now can only fly 500 feet above the ground and there's now a lot more restricted areas so it's going to be a lot harder for amazon to do this but in response amazon said that they're still working on this and they're going to work with the faa to make this a dream a realization like to make it come true and also if you thought your phone was secure you were wrong because today we found out that the NSA hacked the main SIM card producer which all the four main carriers in the US use and uh, the NSA and the GCHQ if you're living in the UK and US you can you can be monitored whenever you're speaking so that's it for this week I'll probably make bigger versions of this video uh, for next week like subscribe and share if you do that, you might get the Google invite. And uh, see you next week.